All right, on this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, well, I kind of have to raise this. But we're going to do the order of operations. So the first thing we need to look at when we're doing the order of operations is look what's inside the parentheses. Now here we have a couple uh, couple problems, or at least when I'm looking at this and saying, well, I have parentheses here and I have parentheses there. So which one are we going to do first? Well, when you're using the order of operations, you always want to work in the innermost parentheses first. So we're going to first look at here and we say, all right, well, inside of this parentheses, I can do 2 plus 3, which I know I'm going to add. So 2 plus 3 is going to give me 5. So let's rewrite my equation. Now, I don't really need to put parentheses around my 5 anymore because there's no more operations, but I keep the parentheses around there to remind me that this is going to be a multiplication of 2 times 5. So then, um, then the next thing I need to look at is say, all right, well, what's going on in here? Well, inside of my parentheses, I have 10 minus 2 times 5. We don't have any exponents, but that's what the E stands for. Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So what this is saying is, do your multiplication and your division first, then do your addition and subtraction. So we're starting inside the parentheses, I have a multiplication of 2 times 5 and a subtraction of 10 minus that. So I'm going to want to do my multiplication first. All right, then I can subtract. 10 minus 10 gives me 0. And now I have an addition and I have a multiplication. Well, in this case, I'm going to multiply 9 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is just going to give me 6. So that is how you find, uh, or using the order of operations to uh, simplify your answer problem. Yeah, that's right. All right.